What's going on? You're probably losing your mind right now because you can't figure out how to compress your piston on your rear brake caliper so that you can fit your brake pads in there. Now, Mazda makes a specialty tool for that, but we ain't got time for that. We wanna get it done now, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so you obviously wanna take your tire off, so I'm not gonna show you how to do that. And you've gotten to this stage, and you've tried squishing it together, you've tried hammering it together. You just need to get this piston to compress. Well, I'll tell you what. Mazda made this so that you have to actually turn the piston with a special tool while you're compressing it. And you know what? You don't want to go spend that 80 bucks on that tool, so I'm going to show you how to do it for free. What you're going to do is very simple. If you don't have one of these things or some sort of vice grip or something, go buy one for 10 bucks at the store. What you're going to do is, is clamp it on there like this. So once you got this all done, you're actually gonna clamp it together as tight as you can before you start spinning anything. Get all that pressure on there that you can. And then you're gonna take your uh, needle those pliers, stick them in here and twist. Now, you're gonna have to do that process a couple times, probably like 20 times to get it all the way down, but it'll save you a couple bucks and it'll solve your problems. Thanks for watching.